All right, so welcome back to this week's Quick Win Wednesday. This week we're going to talk about um, some functions or actually some features that come with Carbon in your Laravel project um, called is future and is past. So those two functions can manipulate a date and compare them with the actual date at the time being, um, yeah, you can do whatever kind of cool things with it. Um, it's only two of the functions that come with uh, Carbon. There are many more, but we're only focusing on those two in this video. All right, let's dive into it. All right, so I have a custom command here called check subscriptions, which actually checks um, yeah, the subscriptions of all our users. Um, I have added the subscription active until date on the user model, and also I have added it to the costs protected parameter to, yeah, to be able to make carbon work with this column. All right, so I'm going to run it real quick just to show you that I have uh, introduced two users, also the same users as before, uh, with a subscription active until set to tomorrow because today we are the 30th in the time being of this recording. And the other one, the test user, has a date set to on the 20th. So this one will actually um, trigger uh, if we yeah, try to get the is passed function on the subscription active until date. So how we're going to do this? We're going to use a for each. Uh, for each, there we go. Oh, whoops. Uh, for each, there we go, of users users there we have oh, there we go user and actually i'm going to an if statement to check if the user his subscription active until is passed and yeah that's it that's all there is to it so we're going to print out send uh, send an email to uh, the user being a user email there we go and if i run this again so right all right so we have sent an email to test at test.com this is correct because his date was in the past because today we are 30th on the moment of this recording and this function here detects that it's in the past so it returns it true and the this is going to be executed so the opposite of this is, is future, and you can already guess it, if I run this again, it will be an email towards the user that has an active subscription. So, for example, if the subscription active until it is in the future, you can send them uh, a coupon or something else, and if it's in the past, you can send them an email to remind them to update their subscription. And that's how we can use uh, the carbon functionality in our Laravel projects to make our code more readable, uh, more error proof, no more things with um, string to time and is equal to or, or, or things like that, just is future is past and get done with it. So this was it for this week. See you in the next one. Bye bye.